It's uh, raining outside, but we're inside. Yep, another night. I'm on a roll with these videos, aren't I? So, uh, yeah, was thinking, just looking back at that monthly video I did, oh, I will try and 100% try and put a bit more effort in, into the editing instead of just doing a walk around. Or I'll see what I can do for next time, I think. The monthly ones deserve a little bit more editing. Whether I'm any good at it is another question. Is uh, another thing. Anyway, sausages for tea, sausages and mash. Don't know about mash, cheesy mash, I don't know. It's not, not my thing, really, but everybody else is happy in the family, so. Uh, yeah, so where are we? We've got both arches in, all looking okay. I hope so. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, is try and repair the, the rear passenger corner next. Um, got a couple of photos online because there's a, uh, well, I'll basically just show you. I'll show you what I'm First is, I'm just gonna show you the driver's side. We're leaving that in place. It might well have been repaired. Uh, the patch up, maybe. Yeah, so you can't 100% guarantee um, this repair is perfect, but you, you assume that they did it years ago when the floor was, the original floor was there. So it's got a bit of a flange on there. So that gives us a bit of a datum, a bit of a height. The other side was gone and now we've chopped it. So always try and make sure when you're working on cars, try and do one side at a time. So you've always got something to refer back to. Um, even if it's shot, you've got something to do. Because again, it helps you control now. Gets it, um, you know, tailgate things in line, things like that. So we can double check other side. Sorry if the light's not brilliant. Okay, so what we've got two things we've got to worry about. We've got the side panel, to, we've got well, three areas. The side panel, we've got the back panel to repair. And we also have this uh, weird bracy thing. Um, not too sure what I had them on there. Obviously some sort of strength. Um, that also helps to find the height to a certain extent. But basically it's a triangular plate. It's MIG welded stitch weld on the back here to this channel um, and then there's a basically I'll show you Whoa. you can see it just maybe two bolt holes there uh, it's an L-shaped bracket and they bolt through um, I just upload a picture that some kind person's given it to us on the mini Facebook page, hope you okay. don't mind. First things first, load of fill on here. Let's clean it up, because we need to see how far we've got pack. I don't really want to go too far, hopefully, just enough. But you might have seen there's another repair panel on there. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that, back to solid metal. And uh, yeah, go from there. D gear first, guys. Oh, yeah, be careful. The old filler's quite dusty. I expect if it's good filler, it could be dangerous to you. So, mate, always wear a mask. And always worth having a quick swig of a drink or something afterwards. Just to uh, clear the throat. Mm. So, what have we got? What have we got? What are we left with? Good news is, I think the other side's had a repair panel. This one's definitely not. So I think we're gonna to have to go a couple of inches. Just there, that'd be all right, I think. The other key thing is just to take a look at this edge, how good this edge is. Not that it's critical, you can remake it anyway, but sometimes if this edge is all gone all the way up, you might as well go a bit higher maybe, but we can survive that. Yeah, so all I'm just worried about is the curvature of this now. Because what I don't really want to do is squeeze the back end in anymore. Because while it's got the original, it's got a brace in there, so obviously I don't know if that was 100% correct. Keeping the width at the top, not at the bottom. Um, but we've got the size of the tailgate, and we've got to go by that really. We can't, you know, it doesn't matter what this bit's doing, we'll have to just fettle it a bit. Because in the end, so you can see there, that's under pressure now to go in. And that'll affect this curve, you know, because yeah, we might be able to pull this in a bit. Oh, that's it, like that, you see. So we might be able to do that. But again, we've just got to watch the shut lines now on the tailgate. You know, so you just got to be uh, a compromise. Take a couple of mil at the top, couple of mil at the top, the other way, you know. Fettle it a little bit, fettle it, fettle it. Sorry about the rain. I think what we need to do, um, I've just trimmed up this triangular bracket as well to give me height, so I've got now full adjustment because it was sort of stopping a little bit, even though it should be, but blah, blah, blah. Is let's make up a strip along here, which we can then attach and then we can see what the lines looking like going down 
because um, again, I think it could do with going in, but going too much and it's, you know, pushing the bottom of the tailgate, the gaps together. So, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, find a bit of metal. And a bit of door skin just laying around here, so that could be useful. I'll tell you what, cutting through this with a disc cutter, the original metal, you can definitely tell the difference when you cut that between even Magnum or even the Heritage ones with a disc cutter, you can just feel it. You know, it takes a while to dig in. You know, it's definitely tougher, definitely. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can make up a little panel to go in there. We'll see if we've got something with already a 90 degree on it already, but we'll see. Okay, my master skills coming into place there. Just bent that out. Um, 10 points for anyone who recognises where that came from. But anyway, so yeah, that's the idea. Um, so what's worth doing at the moment, I think, is getting some, clean that up a bit, getting some holes drilled and get some, get the little uh, Clicos clips in there just to see what it's looking like and see what the curve is. We might have to use a little nut and bolts actually just to try and hold that in there because they might not be strong enough. Um, and yeah, and then see what it is. We might just trim this flange down a bit just so we can see what we're clamping to. And then we get that on there, nut and bolted on, then we can work around and uh, try the other panels. But uh, let's just see if we get this one done for tonight. Sorry about uh, close up crotch shots. You might be wondering why I'm using a cordless screwdriver, cordless drill on a tiny little screw. It's because I've left my small, small, small screwdriver at home. So that's why. So instead of stopping and going back and getting proper stuff, we make do. Okie dokie, that's not looking too bad, not looking too bad for my type of work. Where's my mole grip gone? Where's my mole grip gone? So yeah, again, the, the joggling just keeps this, this joint straight and also gives it some strength. So it, 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 it helps straighten the actual panels together, or well, it should do it. Anyway. So I think just gonna have to pinch it. I think I think it's maybe supposed to be a gap anyway. A little bit of a gap. And we maybe put some sealing down there later just to stop water getting in because that's what's gonna happen. That's what the trouble with these pickups is. The load bed fills with water because obviously no one puts covers on them. And the water just goes down into the sides and goes into these corners. The same as down the thing, so just a bloody water trap really. Could do with some sort of holes really drilling so it drains out underneath. Maybe, but anyway, who's going to put this in the rain? So yeah, a little bit far on the joggle there really, but it's, it's still fine. Again, don't try and spot this weld straight up again or do anything silly. Get these all off, make sure you deburr everything because it only takes a little bit of metal to get under there and in the end you end up putting more filler on. But it's not looking too bad, not looking too bad. Uh, yeah, I guess there's not much to this bottom edge because there's a fold here. Let me bring the camera around and discuss that one more time before we go home. So, uh, as you can see, um, I haven't put the swage on it, but then to be honest, looking at it now, there wouldn't be too much of a swage anyway. Because the swage, this, you know, this 90 degree swage can't go all the way down because it would just hit this floor. So it must stop here. And how they join this bottom bit to this other panel going round, which I don't know where my other panel is. Uh, is, that it? Is, that, is that the panel we started on? Yeah. See again, you've got that swage there, you can see that it's been chopped short. So, I don't honestly know. 
And that bit, I have to do a bit of research maybe. Okay, so what we can do, yeah, see this is the bit that determines is, you know, more we push this in, more it gets closer to the bottom gap. So the shut lines change, so you either have to then pull the top in or do something. Um, so yeah, it's always going to be a compromise. But I think as long as we get this bit on and you've got enough room to bolt the bumper on, you can see a swage there. A flange, a phalange, a seam. It's good to go, I think, anyway, so yeah. All right, so next time um, we'll try and do a research, see what's happening around this area. Next time we'll finish off and we'll make this bit of L shape here, which will go on to bolt onto here. We need to then finish off this corner channel, which builds the edge of the, the, the pillar here. And then we can then put this last bit in with a little phalange again on the bottom to go onto there. So yeah, we're going one step forward. Alright, till next time guys, see you soon.